All right, so we're going to show you how to remove the uh, steering column cover from a 2002 Dodge Dakota. Uh, this is also going to be applicable to some 2001s as well as some Dodge Durangos. First thing I'm going to do is to remove the lever here for um, raising the steering wheel up and down. So. Uh, no tools required, this thing. We're just going to grab a hold of it and pull it straight back toward the back of the truck. And it should pop off. There you go, like that. So, next thing we do is get underneath, and uh, there's three screws. And we're going to use a uh, long screwdriver to get into those holes and remove those screws. Alright, so the, the holes that we're after is one here, there's another one here, there's another one here. Uh, the tool that you want to use to remove those screws is a T20 Torx and it does help to have a long shaft like this because you do have to get up into that hole there uh, at least that far anyway so also you need to pay attention to this center screw is different than these two on the uh, outer edges So this one is a small black screw. And the middle one is actually a silver screw. Now, I don't know why that black one didn't come out of there. it'll come out anyway so now that we have those screws out we could just lift up and pull that cover off and then on the other side we've got there you go that screw just dropped so we could pull a, a rubber boot from the shift lever, lift this past the ignition. And there we go. Now you have access to your, your multifunction switch here. And that's how you remove the cover from around the Dodge Dakota steering column. Now if we uh, if we want to remove this multi-function switch it's pretty easy we've already removed the cover for the uh, steering column and then there's a, a red lever right here this uh, this whole thing is one one big switch so what I want to do is to push this red switch back and then let's see if I can get in here like this there's a you push down on this little tab here and at the same time pull toward the front of the truck and that switch comes off. Also, now you have a screw here and a screw there and we'll take those out. So the easy way to get to those screws is of course to turn the steering wheel. So we're going to start this thing up, and then we're going to turn the steering wheel like so, because we want to access these two screws. And that's just, uh, in this case, it's just the Phillips. Shut the truck off. Now those two screws are out. You could just grab a hold of this thing and pull it straight, 
straight back this way. There you go. And now it's out. You can slide the new one back in. Now, this one is, there's nothing wrong with it. I'm just doing this for demonstration, so I'll show you. Just going to slide the new one back in. In place. Put the two screws back in. Connect the wire back up. That's all there is to it. Put the cover back on. And you're golden. All right, so we've got the cover back on. Um, put the rubber boot from the shift lever back in place. And the last thing to do is take the steering tilt mechanism uh, lever and uh, just snap it back in place. It's, there you go. So. That's how we access the multifunction switch as well as the other pieces uh, in the steering column.